between the Hoosiers and the Cavaliers. It did not start well for Kevin Wilson and company, to say the least. This is a 16-3 game. We're at the beginning of the second half. And that makes it 23-3 in favor of Virginia on the touchdown run there by Kevin Parks. Ensuing Indiana possession, though, this is when they kind of started to come to life a little bit. Matt Perez, the eight-yard touchdown run, so it's 23-10. And then more from the Hoosiers in the fourth quarter. It is Perez again, 13 carries for 47 yards and a couple of touchdowns for Perez. And so now all of a sudden it's 23-17. And then we were talking about the defense coming up with a huge play there off the fumble. It's Lawrence Barnett, 56 yards. Diving into the end zone, and the Hoosiers take the lead at 24-23. Now, same score on a second and five. Edward Wright Baker, who threw for a buck 71 in the game, hits Deweese Wilson for the touchdown. So Indiana up by eight, seemingly in good shape. But back comes Virginia, Perry Jones. Diving across in the final couple minutes. They got the two-point conversion. They tie the game, and then the play of the game, Cam Johnson with the strip on right Baker, which set Virginia up with fabulous field position. They get the ball into the middle of the field, and Robert Randolph boots through his fourth field goal of the game. And after the great Hoosiers come back, Virginia escapes with the win. 34-31 is the final as the Cavaliers improved to 2-0. They had beaten... William and Mary last week. Indiana now 0-2 after the losses to Ball State and to the Cavaliers. So they start 0-2 in the Kevin Wilson era. They've got South Carolina State at home next week.